In this video, I'm going to show you how to use jQuery to modify multiple statements in just one shot. So if you have a HTML document and you have two sections called as the head and the body and inside head you include the JavaScript or the jQuery library by typing the script and giving the source and closing the script and in this body section I have created four divs so basically these are four boxes each with height of 60 pixel and width 60 pixel and they have different colors so one is of the background red color another one is blue color and then the orange and the yellow if I run this file I would see something like this these are four boxes and because of the inline block the property of the boxes they have been aligned horizontally so what I want to do using jQuery is fire a single statement and make all these boxes black in color and give them a border of red let us see how to do that so at the end of the body just before the slash body tag with after which the body uh, tag ends I'll add a code a tag called as script which is used to create a JavaScript code and we'll close it by slash script inside that I'll write the JavaScript or the jQuery code so to access the jQuery you have to use some variable called as dollar and inside that would be the document as parameter and when that document is ready this function will be called and inside that we are going to put a function body and close this statement so this is the basic of uh, jQuery so when the document is ready this function will be called and what happens inside this function is we're going to select all the divs and assign them a CSS value so if I want to give it a background color and make it black I can do it like this and then if I want to create a border then I can give it a statement like this So what I have done is I have created two statements and if we run this query this is what we wanted to achieve but what if we combine these two statements into one single statement to do that I would use a third statement and just watch carefully here dot CSS it is similar as above instead of writing the double quote I would use an object notation which indicates an object and inside that I would use background color as black sorry in the quotes and comma and I'll copy it from here remove the double quotes like this just uh, stretch it a little bit so that you can understand what it is so this is the start of the object the first element background black second element border and then we put a colon here not the comma and we hide this statement so now this should do the exact same thing as these two statements above let us check it out let us first comment this also in starting so as you can see we are back to the four boxes with different colors and we want them to be changed to black and with a border of red I'll remove the comments here so that this code is operational save it and run it again and that is what we intended to do the point is simple if you want to create if you want to update two values all you got to do is 
use a, a curly brace and inside that give the name of the variable so if you see I did not give here something like background minus color because as you can see this is minus and not the dash so I cannot use it just like that so instead what jQuery has given me is to take the minus out and take the small c out and instead use the capital C this is the value that or this is the key that jQuery understands so this is how you can change all kind of properties so I hope you like this video and do let me know if there is any question and please subscribe and like my video thank you